Soldering Iron Heating Test Normal Heating and the Welding Stop working and unplug the power. Installation steps of changing from a long soldering iron tip. Loosen the fixing screws. Pull out the long soldering iron tip. Unscrew the back cover screws. Pull out the back cover. You need to install the two copper pieces here firmly. After the installation is complete, check that the copper pieces cannot be loosened. This is copper and screws. Use a short soldering iron tip where the two copper pieces should be installed firmly and not loose. Install the copper piece of the short soldering iron tip. Pay attention to tighten the two screws. Insert the short tip. Check whether the copper sheet is installed properly. Attach the back cover. Tighten the screws of the back cover. Tighten the fixing screws. Power on heating test. SI012 short soldering iron tip installation completed. The installation steps of changing from a short soldering iron tip to a long soldering iron tip. Loosen the fixing screws. Pull on the short tip of the soldering iron. Unscrew the back cover screws. Pull out the back cover. Need to remove two copper pieces. Use a long soldering iron tip to remove the two copper pieces here. Install PCB board fixing screws, only need to tighten one. Insert the long soldering iron tip to detect, do not connect to the power supply. There must be a gap between the long iron tip and the screw. Attach the back cover. Tighten the screws of the back cover. Insert the long soldering iron tip. Tighten the fixing screws. Power on heating test.
SI012 long soldering iron tip installation completed. Installation comparison of long and short soldering tips. Wrong operation. When the soldering iron tip is used incorrectly, it will display short out when the power is turned on. Please refer to installation steps of long soldering iron tip. Install it correctly and then insert the long soldering iron tip.